episode number 79 task force keystone has engaged a pair of japanese destroyers as well as their uh, zero fighter cover uh, we have <coughs> a whole lot of our own uh, wildcats in the area uh, we are engaging the destroyers the wildcats i am going to uh, form them up in a box I'll Wildcats are going to form up in a box. Not letting me form them up in a box, so they'll just go in a line ahead. Okay. Like that. And they're going to come down to about 800 feet. <clears throat> They're going to circle around our group like this. Can't imagine they have a whole bunch of ammo, but uh, they are going to be firing on the destroyers uh, once we start getting some hits on them out here. Uh, problem being our heavy hitters like the Northampton, Pennsylvania, they don't have any main gun ammo, they just have their secondaries. So, currently right now no one's firing on anybody. They're firing on the Asashio. I've got them all targeting uh, one or the other. Yeah, they're all out of main gun ammo, so... They're gonna maneuver into position. I think Task Force Keystone's gonna be headed back. Uh, the Pennsylvania herself is uh, fairly damaged, so... You may need to go back uh, critical and heavy damage, I believe. But we've got enemy ships out there. One of them just had a nice secondary explosion. Causing some fires on that first one. I don't know if we're hitting uh, this one at all, but they're starting to uh, switch their targets. Ouch. Have knee blocks start maneuvering. Knee blocks should be firing. Not sure why she's not. Right, we'll have you maneuver back around to the south through the convoy. Bring 
get you out of here. Is there a primary knee block? Good. Maybe not so much. We should be all right. And again, the impression the uh, Japanese weren't expecting a large, large surface group to show up here. Our Wildcats are all formed up, ready to uh, ready to move in on a nice strafing run if need be. I don't know if I want to uh, use them as such, but. Oh, we may have a collision here. They dodged it. Big leaves. Might want to get out of the way there, leaves. Leaves is looking okay, so she can come back out this way. Uh, knee block is working on her damages. All her fires are out, so get her coming back towards the uh, towards the enemy here. There's our wildcats. Kind of a cool shot. Have you slow down? Go attack them. Go do a straight and run. There they are out there. Not really what I was expecting to see. A whole bunch of zeros and couple destroyers they kind of appeared out of nowhere so uh had to deal with them keystone was moving back to rearm uh but i may just send them home and uh use the command points that we had to pull out uh some new uh battleships here i got these uh these zeros could, or these uh, wildcats could finish off the, uh, at least one of the destroyers. A lot of them are damaged, so they're going to have to return to base fairly soon. Let's make sure we're not running into each other out here. Gleaves is taking fire again. <laughs> 33 Wildcats coming into strafe. They're maneuvering into a decent position, too. Run right up the uh, stern of the ship. Ouch. Alright, 
warm up. Okay, Wildcats. I'll have you swing back around on Kagero on the Asashio. Here. Right, both the Japanese destroyers are burning pretty fierce, so I don't know if I want to risk Wildcats again. Form them up. We've lost two. Critical, critical, Kagero. Have you hit the uh, hit the Kagero Wildcats? Lopes Bar, Northampton leaves. I think I still got leaves just kind of spinning off and in the distance there. Pennsylvania, you can turn a little further south. Actually, probably turn north here. All right, here's our next strafe and run. This should do this uh, destroyer in. There she goes. Warm up. Whoops. Slow down and attack. Not all of them seem to have uh, wanted to attack there. Hey guys, warm up. Oh, no target. That's why. There we go. Okay, there we go. Those Japanese destroyers are both going down. Uh, as Force Keystone going to continue on their way. Leaves, how you doing? And we'll check our other destroyer. E block. All right. There we go. Very nice. S Tech One is under attack from the air. We are maneuvering as best we can. They are bombers, so I feel decent about our chances of surviving this. Just for the simple fact that we can uh, maneuver pretty good here. Whoops, Boise is looking like it's... Uh, yeah, Boise just got nailed. I think there's two more coming in on Boise. I think there's more coming in on Boise. Isn't looking too bad though for taking two bombs. Those missed. I'm gonna get you turning the opposite direction. Bombs can't fell. 
but they apparently missed everything they were shooting for. Uh, Boise has her damages. Uh, minor and none. Uh, we're pretty lucky that we didn't have a uh, cargo explosion with the Boise there. Everyone turned about, heading in the right direction. But yeah, I'd say Boise got kind of lucky there. We're going to get her damages fixed so she can continue to patrol. I got caught with my pants down with no uh, cap for pass attack one. Um, they were up in the air. Uh, just They were covering the Enterprise battle group because we had some bombers that uh, were kind of loitering around in the area. And they ignored our carrier and went straight for the unescorted group. So there we go. We have a uh, couple ships here. That was very fast. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um, do 1,000 pound. And our armor piercing bombs. Don't think we can launch again for a little bit. get them in this we have nine of them go with uh, uh let's see three groups of three not in box Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to send them individually. Do. Like this. Split you guys off like that. There you go. Everyone's attacking. I don't even know who I'm up against here, so I guess we'll find out.
And the end result of that is a Scuttle Destroyer and a Destroyer with critical damage and heavy flooding and a group of Corsairs that followed their flight leader into the drink after he got shot down. I had, I think, two of them shot down during the strafing. Uh, I formed them up to possibly move into a position to attack again, uh, and they immediately crashed. So, consistent, persistent game bug cost me nine Corsairs, or seven. The other two got shot down legit. Oh well. Anyway, we got a command point out of that. Uh, speaking of command points, we got our weekly supply. We also got, uh, oh, I think 65 back from either the Queen Elizabeth or the War Spite. Uh, I did put together Task Force Tar Heel with the uh, command points and the uh, ship, uh, the points I got from uh, rest and repair returns. Uh, Task Force Tar Heel was one of the original battle groups that we had in the campaign. North Carolina is back and heading down uh, to the front lines. They were going to take the position of Task Force Keystone uh, kind of in the center of the map. Okay, so I've condensed a lot of my collection of two and three ships. Um, Base Force 2, I'm not even going to bother renaming them into what they happen to be doing. Um, there's four ships here in Base Force 2. Southern Invasion Force has ten. They brought all the troops from the Guam Saipan area down to Peleliu. Uh, we are looking at almost 50,000 troops. Um, we control Peleliu, we're just working to get the uh, holdouts gone. Uh, 25,000 troops um, down on Ambon. Uh, we are, I think we got, oh, they're headed back because they dropped off whatever they had. Uh, we've got air cover down here in the form of the Hornet Battle Group. Uh, Task Force Neptune, Barnes is shot in terms of their aircraft uh, so once we get these guys the replacements back um, they're go the uh, Bogue and the Breton both are going to be taking the uh, place of the Barnes uh, along with La Valette we've got supplies that are going to go to Ambon um, once I get and get engineering and fuel down here uh, we are going to upgrade this to a level 3 port, and that will be our uh, stepping off rearming place for the um, invasion of the Dutch East Indies for our southern forces. I believe my first stop on the trip west is probably going to be uh, Kandari. Uh, Kopang and Kandari are... Uh, Kandari is, and Kopang, they're both, um, objectives. Uh, I don't know if Makassar is, but we'll worry about that going forward. Uh, in terms of the Philippines force, Davao obviously is going to be our first objective. Um, level three, level three, and the level three port here, uh, level five at Manila, um, this central Philippines area or the Philippines area is going to be a tough nut to crack just because of all the air power that they have in the area um, I may just run in with my heavies and uh, flatten everything in sight we don't have to worry about it uh, just going to have to make sure Guam nope truck has plenty of supplies, fuel, and engineering to rearm all our, our uh, battleships. That's going to be a process, but it's completely doable. Um, 
I'd rather deal, just level everything than deal with all the air attacks that come with a level five, level three uh, airfield. So that's what we're doing going forward. Um, not sure why these guys aren't moving. No, they're heading back. But we'll get them moving again. I don't know why they stopped, but they did. We are with Fast Attack 2 this time. Fast Attack 2 has come across a couple of Japanese destroyers out here. Just a pair of them. Uh, we are uh, about 25,000 yards out with our leading ship. Um, we're kind of losing them, but we got this Kingfisher hauling as much Kingfisher ass as they can. Out to a spot. Our radar is all active. Uh, we have a 59% solution on the lead Kagero. Um, despite the fact that we lost the contact, uh, they're firing on us already from 21,000 yards out. I'm not even really sure what the distance these uh, here at Soyuz have are. Let's find out. 20,000 yards. We're going to have to start shooting pretty quick with the uh, Honolulu or they are going to start scoring hits. Uh, we've got a bunch of smaller destroyers that are with us as well. The Plunkett, the Kearney, the Gavin. Uh, we've got the Little Rock, which is uh, trying to get into position with everybody else, and uh, Chevalier. Everybody has been assigned a target. I am just trying to close the distance a little bit, and they're getting pretty close. So... I would prefer not to take damage before we can dish it out. Uh, so, uh, this group's going to form up. They're going to steam straight into harm's way. And they're hopefully going to deal a pretty major blow to these two little destroyers. We are pretty close to the uh, lead Shiratsuyu here. Um, I'm pretty sure they launched torpedoes, just the way they maneuvered. But um, if you can see them out there, I don't. That's all right. Shiratsuyu was taking a lot of fire. Uh, I did switch a couple of ships to the Shiratsuyu. Uh, we do have some targeting Kagero. Looks like she's taking some hits as well. Uh, but first priority is dead. So we'll switch to you. Let your solution build a bit. The Little Rock 
targeting Kagero here. Ten thousand yards out, open up. A Plunkett's firing just fine. Uh, Kearney's firing. Gwyn. Fire. Twelve thousand yards. And go ahead. Hit him with the secondaries too. See torpedoes inbound. You definitely see them in the water. It's a nice clear day. There goes the Shiritsu there. Nagaro is now taking the uh, full brunt of our entire task force. actually didn't shoot down our uh, Kingfisher, which is kind of surprising. Doesn't even look like, oh yeah, they are. They're still firing. They got one active gun, so. Can't imagine this is going to take too much longer here. Maybe if they keep missing like that. Pretty good. There we go. Right, invasion 3 is going to take up the new task of running uh, engineering from Guam to uh, Ambon down here so we can have that level 3 port. So let's get these guys loaded up. And I'm probably just going to take all the engineering. And do we have anyone else that can carry? No, I don't think so. All right, well, we'll leave with them some supplies there. Okay. So the three of you. Split. Head back to Midway. And the rest of the invasion force. Head on down to Ambon. Right there. That should be enough engineering to get them uh, up and running. Uh, in the area, we dropped off fuel. So Ambon has 5,000 supplies, 420 fuel. Uh, Task Force 59 has their troops and supplies. And the Southern Invasion Force has the uh, groups and supplies as well. So we're going to move in with both of these fleets towards Kendari. Task Force Neptune has two Bogue classes. So we're going to move them in as well. Uh, Task Force Oz... 
Uh, Task Force Oz does have heavy cruisers, so they are capable of uh, bombardment. So I may do that. I'm going to place them there. And the Hornet Battle Group is going to move out like this. Uh, we've got the Tuna patrolling up here. Uh, Intrepid Air Group is patrolling up in the north. Uh, Crimson Tide is patrolling here. Uh, Barnes is heading back. Prusty is over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave Trusty right here for now. Uh, up here at Peleliu, we've got two uh, convoys of supply ships. Um, I'm going to wait till the smoke goes away. It says we have we have it, um, but we've got, like I said, almost 50,000 troops uh, waiting to move on Davao. So, all right, they're heading back. They're heading back. Uh, these guys are heading back. Alta, Alta Maha is going to be released. Up here we have Task Force Keystone. I think they may have to get a little closer. Task Force Keystone is going to be fully released for repair. Uh, Task Force 33 is moving in to grab uh, supplies and possibly troops. Uh, they're going to link up with the Southern Supply Force and uh, more than likely head head to uh, Davao once we get all of our uh, supplies so let's get a uh, let's get Keystone in there all right every single one of them is going to be released they're all damaged all right so bye bye task force Keystone for now Let's take a look at what we have in the dockyard. 41 days for the Pennsylvania to return to us. 12 for the Portland. 5 for Wichita. Wilkes Bar is 6. Northampton is 4. Uh, various destroyers. The other Queen Elizabeth is 26 days out. The Renown is 4. Uh, and then we've got 15 for this Bogue and some transports so that is where we stand as far as the progress in the campaign uh, once we get these supplies down here which nope engineering that's what I just did All right so they are uh, waiting on supplies to move to the Philippines uh, this group here is going to move into the Dutch East Indies and uh, we'll start that part of the campaign in the next episode. Anyway, if you liked this episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, tips, or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to follow along through our Pacific campaign on War on the Sea, hit the subscribe. And uh, we'll pick it up again in episode number 80. Episode number 80. A76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.